Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me back here in the Outer World. Joined with, also, Vicar Max, Parvati, and my cat Binky, who is right now in the sunshine. Cool. So last time we came to the Iconoclasts, and we nearly died trying to make our way over here. But, let's go ahead and talk to Trevor, who is the son of Trevor Tucker, the son of the woman who said we needed to get him back. He doesn't seem that... Young. Looks like I'm not the only new face around here. Mm -hmm. What do I call you, stranger? Captain Hawthorne. You here to join the iconoclasts? Help us free this world? Uh, Tucker? Um, you're new face too, huh? Yeah, to Amber Heights, anyway. Only got here a few weeks ago. Was living in Stellar Bay before then. But I can't tell you how great it is to finally be free of them walls. Does he not realize that there's walls around his settlement, too? Aren't walls to keep everyone safe? Screw safe. I've had enough of playing it safe to last me a dozen lifetimes. A body's not meant to live such a guarded life. Everybody needs a little danger and excitement. That's what drugs are for. Live for. That's what you get outside the walls. And if you're lucky, you find a cause worth bleeding for. And that's what I got right here. The Iconoclasts welcomed me into the fold. They're teaching me how to survive and truly be free. That's worth more to me than safe ever could be. Um, Pretty strong reaction. Free from what? Why, from the yoke of corporate tyranny. It's what all us Iconoclasts strive for, with Graham at the helm. We want unfettered freedom, not the lies that MSI tries to sell in Stellar Bay. True escape from all rules and constraints. You want to know more? Listen to Graham's broadcasts. He's been talking up a storm, working to elevate the minds of all the corporate drones in this colony, getting them to rise up. Um, no rules or limits sounds like a utopia. It is. Just look at what a paradise Amber Heights is. We could take this world. No galaxy-wide. Only the vastly ignorant, such as one who has never even seen a picture of Byzantium, could call this a paradise. I've heard of that place. Graham once said the folks who live there are bound by chains they themselves bought. Sounds awful. Um, it's a pretty strong reaction to the topic of safety, and I'm Binky's now sitting on my chair. Sorry about that. It stems from some, uh, family trauma. I don't want to talk about that, though. Oh, we going to. Tucker? I am not a little boy. Haven't been one for decades. No matter what my mama wishes. I take it she's still looking for me? I'd hope she'd accept my decision. She made it seem like you were in danger. According to her, stepping foot outside of the house in broad daylight is too dangerous. My entire life, she crammed a fear of danger down my throat. Don't go play with friends. Bantasaurs will tear your arms off. Don't leave the city. Raptodons will spit acid on your face. Marauders can violate you. You'd fall in a sulfur pool. I stuck around way too long, ruled by her fears. I'm 42 years old, but she still sees me as a little boy in need of her protection. I won't stand for it, I tell you. Um, running away is for cowards. Face her and show her that you've grown up. Is he going to die along the way there? Intimidate. I'm getting that reward. Either you go back or I'll beat it out of her. <laughs> ah, so what do you want me to do about it? She'll keep sending people to look for you. You need to face her and tell her that you've grown up, probably. She doesn't want to see me as anything other than her baby boy. Why would I go back again? What'll be different this time? You survived outside of Stellar Bay for weeks. Yeah? Don't teach her that... Ah, you might be able to teach her Iconoclast's philosophies. Convert her so she might join you in freedom. Ah... Uh... I don't want to help push anybody to join a particular ideology right now. Maybe in real life, but not in video games, no thanks. Um, 
just tell her that you've survived by yourself. You're right. I can do this. I just need to stand my ground and make her see she can't control me anymore. No one can. Very nice. Convince Tucker to return home. Uh, does anyone else live here? No? I'll get a knock you out bar. Binky's biting my clothes once again. I'm taking all the heavy ammo. He doesn't need it, obviously, since he just left it on the floor. If you leave things on the floor... Anti-riot gear. Have they had riots here? Huxley, stay off this machine. View work orders. Steam coming out of roof. Oh, engineering. Remotely reroute the water. Oh, this this is the thing that we need to do for the odd jobs. Nice. Archi arcing energy, or arcing electricity at the bar. Science. I haven't heard about the Raps House. Remotely reset the Raps House communications breaker. No, PB. Alright, very nice. Dear Diary. Erase work order. Eat it. Very nice. Medical stuff. Engage remote remote force door lever operation. The examiner's residence above the med bay is stuck and it's completely sealed. Can someone get it open? You okay, Bink? Yeah? You alright? Alright, well, he's having a little bit of an issue right now, I guess. That's right, Bink. Take a nap in the sunshine. Ah, very nice. So we can go back to Agnes, but I want to meet this guy who is named Joshua. Investigate the outpost. Where's that? That's in the region. Oh, pretty darn south. Cool. So we're not going to do that. Weapons from the Void, Passion Pills. Is that even on this planet? Yeah, I don't... That might be. Um, yeah, Pinky, you want my chair again? Left field, we do that up north. Velma. Let's see. Catherine in Fallbrook. Up, oh, she's down over there. Bolt with his name. Get into the arms building. But that's up north over there. Ming? Companion quest. Reginald on... Oh, where's Reginald? Where is Reginald? Down there. Tasks, odd jobs. Return to Bronson. Oh, we might as well turn to Bronson then. Because he was a guy... The quartermaster. Some would say. Step lively, Miss Holcomb. I I'm not winded. Honest. My uh, boot was untied. All right. What are you buying? Um, I fixed all your stuff. I'll be damned. Thanks for doing that. Here, Zora sets aside a bit or two for people who help out. Before you ask, no, it ain't pay. Just being generous to folks who do a good turn. Ah oh, yes, very good. We don't we don't think of paying people here. We just make people do it out of the kindness of their hearts. It ain't right. How many good folk are we gonna lose to our missions? That's just the way of it. We gotta earn our keep. Gotta earn our keep, but there's no one gets paid. Door and another door. Hello. They'll spawn right behind me, right? Something like that. I should have checked first. Oh, they're sleeping. They don't need this stuff. What is this? Ezekiel, Manti infested. Oh, is this a... Oh, crap. Did I just steal something from Patience? Agitator. Revolutionary. Rioter. No? Okay, whatever. Then I don't care. What's around here? Oh, we can go upstairs. Nothing in the bin, darn. Pulse hammer. Take everything that isn't nailed down. Weapon parts. Oh, nope, I don't need to sleep. Sleep is for other people. I'll take the purple berry punch. Baked beans. 
Uh, I guess there's really nothing in here. It's just another house. All right, so be it. Whatever. And this must be where Graham is and Zoro is yelling at each other. I'll take that stuff, but I can't do it without making a scene. This way. Is there anyone coming to yell at me yet? Rider. Agitator. I could steal stuff, but I'm not feeling like it right now. A magic. God dang it, Graham Bryant. Why isn't it Jay Graham? Five gun hands. A total failure then. So much for the ruins. Hello. A stranger comes to Whoa. our. Whoa. If you're looking for a path to walk, you've found one. If you're looking for a teacher, I am one. Welcome to the iconoclasts. Look at his facial here. The truth that I have come to learn and embrace since shedding the corporate yoke. Out here, we survive by the sheer strength of our spirit. We have no need for the endless rules and red tape of a corporate structure. We do seem to burn through endless ammunition and medical tape, though. Yes, well, such is life. Our descendants will enjoy safety and luxury, but our generation is the foundation on which that future is built. Now, why have you come? Um, tell me more about the iconoclasts, maybe. The iconoclasts are free folk. We live under our rules, motivated by our own beliefs. All petals on the same flower of enlightenment. Meanwhile, the board strangles the will of its workers. It is the penultimate exercise of a poisoned society where people are enslaved by a corporate ladder. We seek to replace their way of life with ours. Philosophism is the key to unlocking their shackles. Um, okay. <laughs> well, the rest of the colony thinks your way is insane. Why has the board cordoned off Monarch? Or is this, is this why? Oh, yes. Gunships hover in our skies, ready for the day they decide to come to our doors waving banners of war. The perception of visionaries is often tainted by the lies of their oppressors. A sad state of affairs, to be sure. All right. Uh, all right. Okay. I want to know what, more about your teachings, or they mentioned Amber Heights Massacre. I'm sorry. As long as it's been, I'd still rather not speak of it. That was a painful day for us all. I can only imagine. Sorry I asked. It's fine. Perhaps someday I'll be strong enough to recall that tragedy, but today is not that day. And tell me more about your teachings. Awakening is available to all whose minds are ready to accept it. What would you like to know? I would like to know what you think Bokonu meant when he wrote, Your work is to discover the truth, and then with all your heart, give yourself to it. Ah, how refreshing to have a scholar among us. Bakonu's text simply refers to our entire purpose, assisting the universe in realizing its own truth. Let it guide us as it will. It refers to giving oneself over to the plan. It is not some peon to an invisible creator in the sky. Uh, just let them talk. Were there a truth to the grand plan in the first place, I and Bakonu might agree. But what we see as divine purpose is just one facet of the universe figuring itself out. To quote, as a child looking at the leg of an elephant, unable to view it whole, we mistake the tiny scope of our understanding as the unfathomably large purpose of the universe. You're not completely full of shit, I can <laughs> Even if you do twist things beyond recognition to suit your own beliefs. All right, I'm glad I brought the Vicar Max. Let's see how far we can go. Were my teachings beyond recognition, I dare say I wouldn't have a small army of followers who understand and believe. I owe you an apology. I expected you to be a complete idiot. I'd say you're actually more in the 25% idiocy range. Likewise. Now, I'm sorry. What was it you were asking? Oh, man, I'm glad I brought Vicar Max. That's, that was kind of interesting. 
The word eternal is thrown around a lot. Ah, the eternal one. We are all part of the consciousness of the cosmos. Each of us plays a tiny role in the universe's continual journey toward understanding itself. You and I, and the rats and the mantis swarms. Divinity is in us all, and the eternal is that divinity. Even OSI? Everyone, regardless of ability to believe, is another facet of the universe contemplating its own existence. Ability to believe? I think you mean inability to tell fantasy from truth, which rules out any knowledgeable scientician. Let us be clear. Neither of us can lay claim to being knowledgeable on this topic. It is a matter of belief. It is not as if OSI has gone and proven anything. Regardless, what were you saying? What do you mean by an awakening? The point of no return. When your mind fully opens to the eternal truth, every philosophist experiences it along the path to enlightenment. For many, it is the first brush with the cold of death when they realize that all of their lives have boiled down into the single truth of that moment. Mine was witnessing my friend and colleague transform into the very evil we sought to combat. Now he runs MSI, just like the overlords before him. So, this is why I kind of wanted to push the dialogue to see a little bit more about the lore behind this stuff. And Sanjar betrayed you? But his workers enjoy much more freedom than those of the board. Their leashes may be longer, but their collars are just as tight. Alright, what do you do you believe in a creator? Not in the sense of a single entity. Fashioning the universe as a whittler fashions a flute. The universe came into being over time. Organically, naturally, and without purpose. In that sense, I suppose you could say that in the interest of finding its purpose, the universe itself created all living things. The universe doesn't need to find its purpose. It is a mathematically perfect equation that gives mankind purpose. That we'd consider ourselves in any way capable of understanding the universe, much less an equation that drives it, is nothing but hubris. Uh, never mind. All right. Uh, never mind. Why have you come? Some questions. Looking here to help the people, maybe? A great many things, in fact. We could always use a hand rounding up supplies. Or... Now, here's an idea. There's an old printing press I've been trying to get up and running. On Monarch? Oh, yes. Many facilities lie abandoned in the wilderness. I believe the press could be operational again with a little elbow grease... And luck. Sounds to me like a nifty little challenge. Such enthusiasm, yes. I agree wholeheartedly. Our own little fixer-upper. Will you aid us in our cause? Ah, uh, sure, why not? Wonderful. I requisitioned replacement rollers for it some time ago. Huxley should have delivered them yesterday. Speaking of which, where is Huxley? You bought rollers? You haven't even cleared the wraps out yet. What are you doing wasting bits on... Wait. Where is Huxley? Uh-oh. Seems we're out a runner. If you intend to help our cause, I'll ask you to meet our MSI supplier in her stead. Uh, MSI supplies you? One of our sympathizers. A woman named Carlotta periodically buys goods on our behalf from Stellar Bay's store. Stellar Bay has caught on, but they remain friendly. Though the goods now come at a considerable markup. Uh, where is the supplier? She meets us in the ruins of Bayside Terrace. From our compound, follow the road north. Alright, I'll be back. Wonderful. While you're at it, I wonder if Carlotta still has those high-capacity cartridges. Grab a few, will you? There should be some funds left over from the last shipment. We can use them to copy and modify radio serials. Yes. Not just magazines, but their precious dramas. Unbelievable. I hope I don't have to tell you this, but if there is extra money, would you mind buying, I don't know, food and medicine? Graham, if you need me, I'll be in triage. I kind of want to speak to 
Zora just because. Hey. Oh, never mind. In the need to buy myself an entire okay, episode. I wanted to speak to you, but uh. All right, let's just get her opinion on stuff. But all right, access files on the Halcyon Colony. The board's lies vastly overestimates their authority and grasp on power. Without the Earth Director's military might to back them up, they would not be able to maintain their life-draining grip on the colony's throat. All right. Um, oppression must end. Quentin has just been arrested for carrying philosophists' text. Not teachings, not evangelizing, just caring. The dangers of a corporate society. Hmm. Interesting. Senjor and the betrayal of his truth. Yep, whatever. Oh, on that kind of class. Regarding Zora, she's slipping off the true path, huh? Her attachment to the materialism of our oppressor sways her decisions. Okay, teaching notes. Freedom is most powerful. Alright, shifting priorities. More population turns to the written word of my pamphlets. Hmm, we need more pamphlets. And access files on the universe. Uh, not really interesting. Suppression of the truth. All right then. Not so fast. Oh. What do you think you're doing? Um, nothing at all. I was just leaving. All right, whatever. Uh, cool. Yeah, probably decrease. Reputation was decreased. Whatever. I don't really care. Uh, I guess we're gonna go to Carlotta. We're gonna spend a lot of time here on Monarch just because this is a pretty large planet. There's a lot to see, a lot to do. I'm not gonna do every, hopefully every side mission or so, but maybe I will. Maybe I won't. Oh, we actually have to leave. Really in jail, Mr. Max? And you are our. Well, I guess I didn't know Victor Max was in jail. Hmm, whatever. But uh, yeah. Monarch seems like a fairly large planet. I don't want to have as much fun with this as I possibly can. Because when I try this again, I might be... I'll definitely be, definitely be playing as someone or something else. Level 14, level 17. Ooh. I kind of want to try that out. I'm going to try that gun out. Shrink Ray. It's not bad. I'll keep it for now, but... I might store it into storage. Parvati, you can only have that. I gave you that. You, 136 damage is not enough. 134, 163, yes, daddy. Uh, I could probably get rid of some of the stuff because I'm taking a look here at our space. Go and do that, that's fine. I got enough bits for now. Get rid of that, armor. That's not bad, 21 plus 7 long guns, but this gives you more hack. But this can be further upgraded. Um... Actually, that's not bad. Once I get to a workbench, I might equip the anti-riot gear. Yeah, that's actually better than what we currently have. Because we already had to upgrade this. We'll lose some of our carrying capacity, but that's okay. Uh, okay, then. And map. Where do we have to go? We have to go up to the right there. Actually, I can always fast travel back here, so that's good. Get our gun now, just in case, because I'm probably going to piss some people off somehow. Oh, here's a revolver. Oh, crap. Scrap mechanical. I'm going to use that in a little bit. Heads down. Here we go. Oh crap, it knew, it knew immediately. Oh, just in case. I like a little bit of a breather. I need to stop crouching. There goes Parvati. Go, Vicar Max, go! Nice. Light machine gun. Ooh. Oh, Parvati. Oh, sorry. You're kind of down. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. At this point, I might get more inventory space. I I'm just a little bit worried about it at this point. Light Machine Gun Mark II, level 18. It's not bad. Let's go ahead and get rid of this. Cool. And Parvati's back alive. Cool. Anything else around here? 
Interesting. Maybe a bin. Maybe. Through the sulfur mines we go. There are a ton of marauders around here, though. Jesus. It might help if I do this, though. Come on. Another one, of course. That does a lot of damage still, so I'm liking this. Very nice. Come on. Ah. Oh, just a Marauder Thug. First, I thought it looked like Parvati. Kind of did. I killed a Ringler. Nice. How do you not die from a headshot, man? Very nice. And, of course, I'm over-encumbered again. Uh, just do that, yeah. Get rid of that. 16. Nice. That definitely helps us out. What's over here? What is this? Oh, the base side terrace. Nice. Hello. I come to take everything that's not nailed down. Some bits. I keep on calling them caps. More bits. More bits and a plasma carbine. A plasma carbine. Do not sleep. I would really like a workbench. Uh, sure. Nice. Can I get in this building, perhaps? Maybe? Maybe not? Nope, it's just a building with no door. Can I come into... No, I cannot get into the terrace. Terrace, not terrorist. Terrace. But can I fast travel here? Uh, we're already here. Check this out. Yeah, thank you. Keep that. Map. Yes, we can always come... Oh, these are the ruins. Okay. Give me my revolver. I want to try it out eventually. Parvati, 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 Parvati. The VM. Oh, warehouse. Oh, Niles. I was almost ready to shoot Excuse him. Excuse me, but this area is off limits. We got a leaky generator. It ain't safe. That's my nice way of telling you to saw it off. Uh, what's going on here? We're fixing a leaky generator. What's it to you? I'm supposed to meet someone here. Right. Carlotta. Yeah, she's inside. We got first rights, though. As soon as we fix that generator, she's ours. Uh, why are you after her? You'd have to ask the boss. I just know she wants Carlotta voided. I need to get inside. I'm just gonna let you walk on in. Why is that now? I can lie, but that's locked. I'm here for Carlotta. I'll get. I get it. I'll offer. You get paid. We can go home with a win. Hell, I ain't gonna pass up free bits. Make it painful. All right then, Niles. Thank you. You seem kind of angry. Wait, was my? What was her job? Like sublight is here, Celia. Go and tell her. From Carlotta. Meet with Catherine. Velma's keeping a poster. You need to get Nell. Handiwork. Velma at the fishery. Family matter. Yeah, that's still up north. Agnes and Stellar Bay. Gotta go see them. Get Nioka's medicine. Yeah, I definitely need to do that. But, help Nioka with her passion pills. Alright, well, whatever. We got a lot of missions here. What's here? This looks exactly like where we were at earlier. Um, on Edgewater. Exactly the same design. Terminal. Continue. Hack. Route the gas. Oh, wait. Was I supposed to do that? Burn figment and increase risk of cancer. I could do that, but do I want to gas everybody? The answer is always yes. But let's see what's in here. Oh, a revolver, nice. 
And I'm over encumbered. Before I gas everybody, I want to understand what's going on here really first. Of course, break it down. 36? Dang. Less stealth skills? Uh, we'll find other stuff like that later. 29? Dang. 29? More determination? I love the hack skill. Uh, 21. We might as well get rid of that one then. Weapons. Level 13 Plasma Carbine. We currently only have a level 13 one as well, so it doesn't really matter. Get rid of that. We have a ton of weapon parts. Nice. I'm going to hold on to the gas. Um, Sublight Squad is gone. <laughs> Do you have a moment to talk about our salvation through the order of scientific inquiry? You can't be serious. <laughs> Who are you anyway? Uh, just your friendly neighborhood iconoclast. Awesome. Finally. Tell Graham that this is the last run I'm doing. Sanjar's declared a stop sale to you lot, but even if he hadn't, I'm not risking my neck anymore. Oh, hello, Carlotta. I don't know how you got those goons to leave, but thank you. Graham ordered rollers and wetsits, right? For a printing press? Here, take them. Like I said, this is my last run. Uh, why do he ban you from working with iconoclasts? You'd have to ask him. All I know is that if I get caught, I'll get arrested. Why have you been helping him? It's an enviable thing he's doing. Free people and all that. I can't live that way. I need my structure. But I respect the iconoclasts for doing it. Where will they get their supplies now, though? Law help them. I don't know. Maybe Sublight can lend a hand. I should go. Look, Graham's got a bit or two left in his account. I can send one last dropout before I wash my hands of this. What do you want delivered? Mm, Zora or Graham? Well, Graham was speaking to me more, and Zora didn't really care if I was there. Extra food and medicine. Yeah, I've got a few. I'll send them along. Give them all my regards. And good luck out there. Don't go getting eaten. Go on. I need to get all right, well, whatever. Oh, now there's a vendor. Ah, uh, prices. I don't want to buy anything. Wow, we got a lot of ammo. Uh, I already sold most of the stuff I wanted to get rid of. Uh, sold that. The vermin. I already have enough stuff right now. And I already spent a lot of money on this. Whatever. Just sell it. Uh, armor 29. That's pretty good. A uh, hold. Let's get rid of a lot of our junk. We made about 100 bits. I always want to say caps. Mm, consumables. They weigh quite a bit if you have like a ton of this stuff. But mods, I'm gonna sell at least one of these. Anything more than two, I'll just get rid of. Whoops, I got rid of two. Do that. Anything here? Actually, how much do these weigh? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Good. And more Adreno. Mac pickies. Could have just killed her, I guess. That wouldn't really work out for anybody, though. Dead Eye Assault Rifle. More stuff. More stuff. Zora's not going to like me, but she didn't really want to talk to me that much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. Evented Mark III. Whoa. 21 armor. Nice. Plasma Carbine. Oh, anything in here? Cool. Well, we just got some stuff. Ah, oh, man. This armor. Mine's only 12, plus 5 lockpicking. I gotta get more uh, armor on me. 29? Ah, uh, we'll do it. We might get better armor later. Can Bar Parvati or Vicar Max use this stuff? Level 4? Level 9, plus 5 tech skills. Hack skills, lockpick. I'll switch her out with this. Vicar Max, you currently have what for armor? 26, that's pretty good. That's already pretty good. Level 8. 
Um, let's do that. Switch this up around a little bit. And let's sell that stuff. Uh, yeah. Sell, 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 sell. It's fine with me. I really don't need all this stuff. Natural health regen. Sure, why not? Cool. All right, everyone. Um, Now, you might be wondering why I did a fade in, fade out. And that's mostly because after we spoke with Carlotta, I went over to the room here and kind of questioned what the gas would do. And let me tell you, you do not have time to run away if the gas starts pouring out of that facility. Because it killed me, and I didn't want to show you me dying too much. You know, maybe once every once, every once in a while, but uh, basically I died. And I couldn't run away fast enough. Like, I got outside and then I died because the gas really eats up at you. But anyways, um, do we need to go over there? No. Let's go ahead and talk to the lovely people of Graham and Zora and see how Zora's pissed off at us. I'm telling you, the Van Noys are fine. Bullshit, Graham. They don't just abandon orders, and they weren't at the ruins. Where in this sulfur-sodden hellhole did you send them? They're on a very important... Ah, we'll continue this later. Welcome back, Captain. Okay, got your rollers and had those cartridges. Damn it. I was hoping you'd have more sense than our venerable leader here. I get the message is important, but so's eating. Carlotta usually schedules the next drop during the meeting. When's she coming? Um... Song Jar has declared a stop scale on goods to the iconoclasts. That is most unfortunate. This cuts off one of our only two supply lines on Monarch. Sanjar, old friend, you're about to cross a dangerous line. About to? That idiot just declared war. I... we will deal with his subversion later. For now, we must redouble our efforts to spread the truth to the colony. Uh, what's next? I've already sent a team ahead to scout the press. One of our best. Meet them there and find out if they've been successful. You sent the Van Noys there, didn't you? Oh, for fuck's sake, Graham! We needed them in the ruins! Our people died out there! They went willing to fight for our cause. We need reinforcements. We need new recruits. The Van Noys saw the printing facility with the same importance as I. Is a printing press really worth all these people's lives? There's got to be a better way to get your message out. I have the utmost confidence in their abilities. Friends, we must have faith that the men and women we recruit can handle the duties for which we recruit them. All right. You could have sent them after backing up Zora, right? Do you ever stop bickering? This is worth bickering over. The iconoclasts can't keep their heads in the ground forever. Or they're going to starve and die slow. Look, just... If the Van Noys are still alive, get them out of there. With Sanjar pressing the issue like this, I have a feeling we'll need them. Alright, well. I'll do everything I can. Oh, that level up. Love it. What's that? Oh, the bar. Uh, well then. This has turned into almost like a... A lead up to a civil war and nothing sounds more interesting than having a civil war on a single planet um let's see what do I want to do persuade's already very extremely good uh I think I'm going to do one one two and then spread it out for them stealth tech and maybe leadership uh I don't really care for leadership that much engineering engineering is fun science can be fun too as well as medical. So, do one more there. Nice. And now we can have one more perk. And I've already decided that it should probably be carrying capacity. Cap carrying capacity bonus from companions. Now, does that just give me a flat 40? Or can I get just, what is it, 50 up here? Oh, oh, I've already used it, probably. Vendor prices, base health, damage, walk speed sprint. Duh, duh, duh. Oh, I already used it. Oh, crap. Um, 
Well then. Consumable weight actually goes down by 50%. We have a lot of consumables. Let's see, let's see what this does. Pack of pack of mules. Uh, oh, then we actually get access down there. I have 150 right now. Wow! Holy cow, that's a lot of weight, my boys. Um, actually, I don't need to zoom out. Let's take a quick look at the map. Oh, journal, I mean. Pay for the printer. Um, yeah, where's that? I guess we need to go to the map. Region. Over there. So, really, what we could do... Let's go back to Stellar Bay. Let's clean up some of the missions that we already have. And then we'll go do that mission and see what happens. Maybe we'll talk to Sanjar and tell him what's going on with the Iconoclasts. I'm not necessarily agreeing with the Iconoclasts. But I'm not necessarily agreeing with Stellar Bay as well. Actually, let's switch around one one of our quests real quick. Uh, where is this one? Because we're looking for... A Oh. Nell. Velma's storage. I could just do it from Velma. She's doing her best. I don't want to hurt her because she's just trying to make the best out of, out of any situation. I could go into that room. Let's talk to Nell real quick. And then maybe I'll end the episode there. Alright. Sounds like a plan. Abigail. Hello, dearie. Why, well, I don't believe I've seen you before. And with sweet cheeks like those, I'd remember. Uh, what can Auntie Abigail do for you? You okay? I've been asked to pick up a caffeinoid supplement. And what a helpful young man you are. Nothing like a little pill to liven up the spirits. Who's your lucky friend, dearie? Uh, the pills are for me. It's, I, I don't know. You have to pry that secret from my sweet little cheeks. Aren't you a saucy thing? Now, I may not be a fresh young thing anymore, but with age comes experience, dear. Uh, what? This got weird fast. Let's see how far we can push it. Much as I'd love to. My rheumatism is especially fierce at the moment, and I'm all out of my medicine. But I'd hate to send you away empty-handed. You were here for Caffeinoid, weren't you? Who's it for? Uh, that's private. Now, now, there's no keeping secrets from Auntie Abigail. I'll tease it out of you one way or another. Also, I really do have to enter someone's name for the allotment. After all, I have to keep track of where our little pills wander off to. Um, how would you write my name down as Lotso Bits? Well, that's a lot of bits I'm giving. I suppose I could use the money to supply our little clinic for the rest of the town. I'm helping people. Very well. I'll make an exception for you this one time. But let's keep this between us, dearie. Thank you. I'm going to shoot you in the head next. Wait, no, not really. Um, where is this person? And then we'll end the episode there. No. Ooh, you're the new face. Wow, you must be up on all the latest tossball games. So who do you follow? Wait, don't tell me. You look like a Hammersmith Thunder fan. No, Glacial H. Mannix. I play for Auntie Cleo's Darlings. Don't you recognize me? I'd heard they'd gotten a new hacker. Is that why everyone's making such a fuss about you? But what are you doing on Monarch? As a part of a goodwill tour on Halcyon. <laughs> Maybe we're not so isolated as I thought. So, what can I do for you? Want some caffeinoid pills? Found this bedding slip in a dead man's apartment. Um. Poor Isaac. I was wondering why I hadn't seen him in a few days. I'd really like to help. Isaac was a sweet fellow, even if he did have terrible teeth. <laughs> I'm listening. What does his teeth have to do with anything? They were pretty distinct. Monarch doesn't exactly have a thriving dental industry, and Isaac seemed to get stuck in all sorts of bad habits dietary and otherwise. Sometimes he'd drink Purpleberry Punch by the leader, other times he'd keep betting on a losing team. Started owing the wrong people money. Pretty normal. So who do you owe? I don't know for sure, but I saw Elijah and his buddies pushing Isaac around. They're hooligans from Fallbrook. They sweep into town, drop supplies off behind the warehouse, and spend the rest of their stay getting rowdy over tossball games. They usually loiter in the alley behind the yacht club, 
They're not allowed in the bar anymore. I bet you anything Isaac ran into trouble with one of them. Thanks for the tip. Mr. Sanjar will be pleased to hear about it when you're done. I know he gets fed up with the Fallbrook bullies, but there's not much he can do. Awesome, but we're not done here. Here to catch a game? I'm afraid the transmission's still pretty bad. What can I do for you? Um, trouble with transmissions? Graham's always filling the airwaves with his propaganda. Like it's done him any good. All it means is the tossball games get to us in fragments. Makes them real hard to watch. All right, um, card. Signed by the black hole himself. There's no way I could pass that up. Why, did you want to see it? I don't have it yet. I'm waiting on a few customers to pay up before I can give Velma the bits. Hmm, I think it's really brave of you to outbid Sanjar's best friend. Could you? Could I trade you for it? Sanjar's best friend. You mean dopey landing pad Grim? I didn't know he and Mr. Nandi were friends. I guess that changes things. Fine. Tell Velma that I don't want the poster anymore. I'll find something else to hang in my shop. All right, thank you. All right, so that's all the time for we have today. I know this video went on a little bit longer, but now a little lie goes a long way. But anyways, thank you very much for watching, guys. Leave a like if you liked the video. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link below. And I will see you all tomorrow as we finish a good chunk of quests on Monarch. And I hope you all have a great, great day.